Here's everything you need to know about the upcoming Dodge Charger SRT Daytona EV, and then some. 2023 marked the end of an era for the current crop of internal combustion Dodge Challengers and Chargers. Hellcat lovers around the world are weeping in unison, but jolt-loving EV enthusiasts are high-fiving in delight thanks to a new ride that's doing the electric slide right into their hearts. The all-new Dodge Charger Daytona SRT EV. But we think even the most petrol-loving, EV-hating gearheads out there might give the Charger EV a second, a third, or even a fourth glance. Dodge has designed this EV with the original Charger design in mind. It still looks like a real muscle car with a long hood, wide, low stance, wide grille, and front spoiler. And oh yes, Dodge has included a newly developed R-Wing as well, which offers a homage to the original Daytona while optimizing the car's aerodynamics. It also features two carbon fiber intakes in the lower part of the bumper to reduce air drag. Muscle car enthusiasts will also recognize the glowing badge on the hood and trunk. That's right, it features another glorious throwback to the Charger from the 60s and 70s. The three-pointed fret zogs, which originally featured on Dodge muscle cars from 1962 to 76, and now it's brought back for a new era of electric muscle cars. Looks like Dodge isn't messing around. It also looks pretty damn practical. For a muscle car, that is. Usually, a crossover or SUV would be a more usable vehicle, but with four seats and a large trunk, the Charger EV does offer some practicality for the driver and passengers. Speaking of the inside, Dodge has taken inspiration from the 68 Charger and used it to create a blend of heritage and modernity on the interior, not just reserving it for the exterior design. It features a pistol grip shifter, which has been inspired by the past wood grain shifter, and a flat-bottomed steering wheel that looks like something from a sports car with its floating illuminated badge and paddle shifters. The Dodge EV also boasts a 12.3-inch center screen, a 16-inch digital instrument cluster, and an 8x3-inch heads-up display. For some sci-fi vibes, there are jet fighter caps all over the starter button and the power shot button. When pressed, the power shot provides a brief 25 horsepower electric boost for passing and a real sense of accomplishment for the driver. Okay, okay, since we just mentioned horsepower, what exactly is the Charger SRT Daytona EV packing? It definitely can't be the Hellcat, right? Um, wrong. Its Hellcat replacing electric motor will actually pack a lights out punch. The highest performing 750 horsepower 800 volt banshee trim from the Charger EV will reportedly be able to outperform a Hellcat, and that's without any upgrades. Intrigued much? Less powerful 400 volt models will also be available. The Daytona SRT 340 is anticipated to deliver approximately 455 horsepower from the 400 volt setup without any upgrades whatsoever, of course, while the SRT 440 delivers 590 horsepower. The Charger Daytona SRT EV is also supposedly coming equipped with newly designed Erupt transmission technology. While the term sounds pretty technical, the engineering is actually quite simple. The Erupt gearbox is a multi speed automatic gearbox gearbox that allows drivers to manually select gears for a sportier driving experience. Hey, that works for us. And unlike previous rear-wheel drive muscle cars, the Daytona EV comes with all-wheel drive, which will reduce rear-end drift, probably to the charging of some would-be owners. But easily the coolest and probably most polarizing feature is the digitally engineered 126 decibel fratzonic chambered quote-unquote real exhaust system. It will not only give drivers the warm feeling of driving an electric car and doing their bit for the environment, but it will also let them know that they are basking in the grumbling rumbling idle and the throaty blast that they would expect from a muscle car when they put foot to floor. Many enthusiasts have complained in the past that driving an EV is downright boring, so Dodge wanted to recreate the glory days of the V8 and give the driver the sound they crave and not just the barely there electric spool up that has become so common on our roads, with a sound that Dodge claims will be as loud as a Hellcat. The appeal of a fake exhaust may be increasing, especially through tunnels. We will remain cautiously optimistic. And you never want to be shocked by an EV, but the price might do that to some. Though Dodge hasn't revealed numbers yet, it's been estimated that the 340 will start at 50 grand, the 440 might start at an estimated 60 grand, and the Banshee will start at an estimated $90,000 when it's released in 2024. Actually, those numbers aren't terrible for next level performance. We can't wait for Dodge's new era of electrification. Hey, thanks for watching a Dodge Charger video from HotCars.com. Check out our website for all your automotive needs.